Good morning everybody, how are you all? I hope you're all doing well. Um, today I'm going dress shopping somehow, and I don't know how, I have been shortlisted uh, as like best newcomer in the Cosmopolitan Influencer Awards. I'm up against some incredible people, and I don't know how that has happened, but the award ceremony is in five days. I'm not expecting to win a single thing, but I want to look nice. So I'm gonna go out and see if I can find a dress. This is always a really difficult thing for me to do. For some reason, when I'm looking for something, I can never find it. Are any of you guys like that? Please let me know so I know that I'm not the only one. And I've invited one of my girlfriends along to help me. However, she hasn't got back to me and the shop's closed in like, two hours so i think i'm just gonna head out and do a little bit of on my own alone shopping which i actually do quite a lot because i quite enjoy it so oh well um and also at the end of this vlog i'm going to insert some footage from when i went to the opening of new jessup store in nottingham i had never visited nottingham before and it was actually on a snow day in england this year we've had really late snow so this was in march and it looked fine outside um but as i was going up the motorway driving north the snow was getting higher and higher and higher and I had put on heeled boots that morning, so I was like, that can't be very good. I'm a huge photography geek and a huge film geek. Anything to do with cameras, lenses, literally everything, and I am there. So I was very happy that I got invited to this, and there was actually like a ribbon cutting ceremony, which I've never been to one of those before, which was quite cool. And there was other blogging girls there as well, so it was lovely to meet some of those. I made friends with a girl called Shelly. So Shelly, if you're watching, hi, it was really lovely to meet you. And I actually, I'll just quickly show you guys, had some photos printed. I don't think enough of us nowadays get physical copies of our pictures. So in the Jessup store, basically, it was opening because they've redesigned it to be more of an ex Experience. So instead of just a regular camera shop, there's now bits where you can print your pictures and there's photo walls and Instax cameras around and stuff like that. So it's a bit more kind of interactive. And I found these two pictures on my camera wall. I wish I had pre-prepared some pictures to print, but I didn't. Um, it's a picture of me at the Champs-Elysees from last year at the most expensive breakfast I've ever paid for. I was with a girl called Ashleen Chan. She is a lovely um, blogger and her fruit salad was 11 euros. And my yogurt, just a single pot of yogurt, was four euros and it took an hour to arrive as well. And then just a really aesthetic picture that I took of my Starbucks outside Starbucks. So <laughs> yeah, um, anyway, I really need to head out and go and look for some dresses. So wish me luck that I can actually find something. And my friend gets back to me as well. Let's go. I would so buy this for when I'm going to New York. But I don't like the orange colour, but I love the print on it. It's so cute. If only it wasn't orange. <laughs> so I brought these two dresses into the changing rooms to try on. I don't think these will be like appropriate for the Cosmo Awards or anything. I just thought they were really nice for summertime. So this is from Miss Selfridge. It's like, I think it's linen, but I love these buttons down the front as well. And then this one from Topshop, I've had my eye on for quite a while and it's polka dot and it has this kind of floral, I don't know if it's showing up, can you see that in the background, it's like floral, so hopefully these look nice, and I love the thin straps on this one too. Please ignore how pale I am. This polka dot one is so cute, the only problem is it's too baggy around the middle, there's too much material going on, can you see? So it kind of makes you look bigger than you actually are, there's like that much extra material that doesn't need to be there, and then it's tight across here, so. This black dress is so nice. I mean, it's kind of pulling me in at all the right places, and I love the bardo as well. I think this is a yes. This top is so cute. I love it. It's like a knitted little crop top. The only problem is, I know for a fact these tops don't suit me, but oh, I just love it. I wish I could pull it off. 
really do. So I've just popped into Zara and I've picked out three things that I will show you guys. I think I'm shopping more for summer than I am for the actual event now because these are all like summery. I'm really not sure about this dress. So it's like a v-neck and it's tie just here like that so it's really pretty but I'm not sure about it, it might be a bit mumsy. The second is this pink play suit which I absolutely love. I've seen this before but again I'm thinking would it look like a beautician's uniform? Do you get what I mean? It's really really pretty but again not sure about this one and then again not sure about this top but I thought I'd try it out. I love the mustard colour and I'm really intrigued to see what the sleeves and what the front looks like when it's on. Okay so this is what the top looks like. I think this is a no for the simple fact that I think I'd need to be a bit more flat chested because the sleeves are quite poofy and it's making me look quite big at the top, like muscly. I love the pattern of this dress, I'm just not understanding why there is so, I can't open it anymore, I can't understand why there is so much fabric this side. I don't know and I can't, it doesn't pull down here to kind of guide it through, I'm showing everything. So this is my view when I look down, look at how much loose fabric is just here, it's bizarre. <laughs> In typical Naomi fashion I've just popped into Starbs and my new favourite thing, I cannot believe I just called it Starbs by the way, <laughs> Starbucks. Um, my new favourite thing in the entire world, no under exaggeration there, is their new red apple tea. It's their red apple tea lattes and I get a large every single time. I get it with soy milk. It's literally the nicest tasting thing I think I've ever tried in my whole entire life and they're also doing this. Let me just show you guys. Up until the end of April they're also doing this thing where you buy four of the tea lattes and you get one free which is actually really good because you can get one this size for free after buying just four and they're literally like oh my god this is my third loyalty stamp card let me just put it that way and my sister gets majorly jealous when i bring home a starbucks and don't get her one so i picked her up an almond milk coffee frappuccino and i'm hoping it's not melted actually it's just in a bag this is actually a really good hack if you need to carry more than one there's a cup holder down at the bottom of the bag and then just put it in a bag and you can carry two <laughs> um, but I was waiting for ages and ages in Yo Sushi to get my order but I did kind of order a lot and I'm trying out their new gyozas so I cannot wait to get home. I'm still completely obsessed with the Greatest Showman theme songs, oh, they're just the best. <laughs> Okay, time for my Yo Sushi. Let me show you guys what I got. I pretty much get the same every single time. I don't know if any of you are like that where you go to a restaurant and you just order exactly the same. Um, but I've got some gyozas. There's only two because I actually had one when I was on my way home. However, they have changed the gyozas and my heart is broken, literally. These are the veg gyozas and they've changed them from normal veg to edamame and I think it's spinach. And I don't like them very much and they were my favorite thing on the menu so I'm really upset about that um, I've got some plain noodles because I just love plain stuff I mean I love plain pizza too um, I've got some edamame and my favorite rice dish ever which is the vegetable chahan so these are a bit cold I'm going to put them in the oven to warm them up and dish them up and then eat all of it. <laughs> Whatever this sauce is that they put in with the gyozas, if anybody knows, it's like my favourite sauce. It's like vinegary. I don't really know what it is, but it tastes bomb. Oh, <laughs> Bloody hell, this is a lot of food. Oh my gosh, guys, look. Look at this mountain of food. Dinner is served. I've just heated up everything in my bowl. And how nice is my new tray, by the way? This is, believe it or not, from Sainsbury's Home. They have some gorgeous bits in at the moment. And they have quite a lot with this new tropical print and like very spring summer vibes. It's just a big circular copper tray. I think I'm actually going to get another one as well because I have been using this one every single day so let's go and eat oh that yo sushi was the most food i think i've had in a really long time and i have a massive food baby now which isn't good because i'm headed to new york i'm trying to not eat as much now so that i will have more room to eat for a straight week when i'm there i've been watching um 
Zoe and Alfie and Mark and literally all of their vlogs from New York and it's making me so incredibly excited to go. I've never been and I'm just so hyped right now. So I've got two months to go and I'll literally be there in exactly two months. I'm really excited. Anyway, I'm just gonna do a quick haul of everything that I picked up today. I didn't manage to find a dress. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to hop on ASOS tonight and order a few different bits. I did actually pick up this dress though. So this is from Misguided. I am already obsessed with it. That's why I'm wearing it. And I think I'm going to be wearing this pretty much all the time now. And um, yeah, I'm going to also include the footage of Jessup's in a second. So I really hope you enjoy that. But I just really wanted to quickly touch on a point that I mentioned on my Twitter a few days ago. And the tweet blew up a little bit. I think it got like 800 likes, which for me is quite a lot. And um, it's to do with when you are out with people you want to be alone but then when you're own uh, you're alone you want to be with people and I don't know whether well I didn't know whether that was just me but everyone was replying like oh my god that describes me exactly so I don't know whether it's to do with anxiety because I do have a tiny bit of like social anxiety or whether it's just being human where it's like you want to be with people but then when you're with people you're like I just want to be at home and it's not because I don't enjoy my friends company I love spending time with my friends I love hanging out with people I'm quite sociable but there's just sometimes I'm like oh my god I just want to be on my own but then when I'm on my own I want to be around people I don't know what it is I don't know Anyway, I will show you what I've got and then I will jump straight into the uh, Jessup's footage. As you can see, I didn't really have that much luck in finding things, but I do love some of the clothing bits I've picked up. So the first is this dress. You saw this earlier. And when I got to the till, it says £28 here. It was actually reduced down to £19. Um, they had like 30% off or something, which I wasn't aware of until I got to the till. So I'm very happy about that. I love the buttons and this is a bit creased because I have actually just been wearing this I've just changed out of it to show you and underneath and um, this is Miss Selfridge by the way I also picked up this top in Topshop I've had my eye on this for the longest time and I don't know why I haven't bought it sooner but I got it today and it's a gorgeous mustard color it feels such lovely quality it's off the shoulder and then it has these thick straps here and this one was oh how weird, I can't remember how much it was, but it says $40, 29 euros. There isn't any pounds on there. How strange, if any of you guys can translate that, that is how much this cost. Um, but for the summertime, I think this is such a lovely top, like tucked into high-waisted shorts or something like that. I also got these really delicate necklaces from H&M. So there is a line, an X, and then a horizontal line there as well that was $8.99 and it feels really delicate and pretty I got a Charbonnel a Walker egg and this was in the sale because obviously Easter has gone now and I just love the pattern on this um I have a friend in mind that I want to give this to um she has moved out and she is in a new place and I have yet to visit it so I think I'm going to visit her next week and I'm going to take her a little bundle of stuff so Alicia, if you're watching, just ignore that. <laughs> Strawberry jam flapjack. This is from Holland Barra, as well as these 10 acre crisps. These are actually vegan um, cheese and onion crisps. And honestly, I love the Walker's cheese and onion crisps. These are like a million times better than that. They're like hand cooked style. And also this strawberry jam flapjack is just ridiculously tasty. I've got this one for my sister. I ate mine earlier and I've given one already to my mum as well. So I'll go and give that to her in a second. Sometimes when I try to reason yeah. You don't seem to listen at all this is a site I don't see very often, a wall of film. I used to love taking pictures on my film camera. When I was younger, I had this little Bart Simpson camera and whenever we'd go on holiday, I'd just take hundreds and hundreds of pictures of, there was a lake near the caravan, at the caravan park we used to go to and I've been back through the pictures and I would just take hundreds of pictures of the ducks and the ducklings, like, 
my mum and dad must have spent so much money when I was younger. Um, but yeah, I miss taking pictures on film, so I must get back into it. I know they've got a few Instax cameras floating around, so I'm going to try and see if I can nab a picture on one of those. But yeah, I mean, how often do you see this kind of film? It kind of reminds me of photography A-level as well. Hey! <laughs> Gosh, guys, it's actually the coldest here. It's so cold. Shelly is just freezing. My hands are like dead. Oh, did you want to say hi on my vlog, by oh, the way? I don't mind. <laughs> hi. <laughs> We're both just walking. I'm going back to my car now. I um, had a really nice time at Jessup, and um, Shelly's catching the train. And we've got some flowers as well. We used it as a prop for some photos. Um, but yeah, we are absolutely freezing. So. I'm going to put you guys away because my hands are about to fall off. <laughs>